Yo, what's up YouTube? Um, just chilling here. Don't mind the table. The table is kind of messy. I'm currently in the process of alphabetically organizing my commons and rares. So, it's going to get a little messy. Today, oopsies, one moment. Today I'm going to give you guys a, a little treat right here. Um, I promised that I was going to be doing wind-ups. And so, today I will do the uh, deck profile. And so, yeah. Um, this is the prototype build. Um, I've been dealing with it on Dual Network. I mean, it has its silly plays, but um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to say that so far, it's not viable. And that's not just because of the, um, the main deck cards. It's mostly because there's no real boss boss cards to this uh, deck yet. But, so, uh, I'll, I will show you what I have so you guys can see this. Um, first card. One morphing jar, um, with a wine spring, zenmeister, or wind up, wine spring, main spring, wind up, wind up zenmeister. Can you have some silly shenanigans? Morphing jar, and also uh, he's uh, pretty just good to cycle the deck and the deck can abuse him. Double maxi because um, I mean this deck is new and some of its uh, powerful cards aren't as powerful as you know some of the synchros. So when people start to go off maxis, you know can deter. You know what maxis do. Sangin to search out Summoner Monk predominantly, or Maxi, or Morphin Jar, depending on the hand and the need. Um, double Wine Spring, or Main of Dog. Jeez, I'm so ah, messed up between the OCG names and whatnot. But um, this Wind Up thing says during the main phase, you can, once while this card's face up on the field, raise its level by 2 and give it 600 attack to make it an 18 beater. Basically, put himself out from 3 to 5. And also, um, if I need to force the thing, and I can exceed into uh, revise and remove. Double, wind up warrior. This guy makes himself from a four star to a five star, and then turns himself from an eighteen beater to a twenty two beater. And that's also just to you know play around with the levels to exceed. The heart and soul of this deck. Trip, Ma wind up magician, and what that does is. When another wind up effect is activated, other than another wind up magician, you can special summon one wind up monster from the deck, and this effect can only happen once while this card's in the field. So, that's pretty much what that does. I mean, that's that's fairly easy right there. But that is indeed the heart and soul of the deck. Two wind up jugglers. Um, these things are kind of like mini catastors. At the uh, after damage calculation, they can destroy. You can destroy the monster at battle with. And um, these are in here. Those kind of they're just floaters. They're kind of fillers for now, but hey. And just in case anybody wants any, I still have another one for trade. So yeah, just holler at me if you want. Um, I've got Trip Tengu in here because of little exceed shenanigans, and I'll show you how that gets silly later on. Summoner Monk makes stupid plays in this deck, like makes it just like explode. That's it for the monsters. For the spells, I got a uh, triple wind up factory. I mean, once per turn when a wind up effect is activated, you can use a wind up factory to search a level 4 or lower wind up for the hand. Two pot of avarice because this deck cycles more than fast enough to use it. And um, that's pretty much. I mean, pot of avarice that's self explanatory. I'll show you how it works in this deck. Book of Moon staple, Dark Hole staple, WMST staple, Trunade staple, Monster Reborn staple, um, Mind Control because it's an Exceed deck. This deck doesn't have access to Stardust, and because of this particular build of World of Crees, I run my body to stop Dark Holes and Black Roses. Level Limit Area B because when I go for game, I have multiple Exceeds out in the field, and that can help me up until then. Book of Teo to force like Raikos face up if I don't have a card from destroy, but it's mostly to do stupid shenanigans with uh my current uh my wind ups and stuff like that. Um, bottomless trap holes. Um, didn't really feel like having. I mean, I can't have solemn warnings in there, but they're in my saber deck at the moment. Um, trip decree. I'm working on a build that has double traps done, solemn warnings, and other things. So. That's probably going to be up there too, but this is my version 1 for now. My um, Mirror Force and Solemn. Um, the extra deck, I only have one card because I can only pick out one during the pre-release, but you need three wind-up Zenmeisters, 
probably two Tyrus. Um, you could have two Adrius. You can have one. Multiple Hopes, one Revised Dragon. That's uh, two Steel Storm Cockroaches. But that's uh, pretty much. So yeah, let me show you how some of the uh, stupid combos work. If I've got Tengu already on the field, and I go for, let's see, um, if I have Tengu already on the field, and Tengu, he's a floater, so that's it's not like that's far-fetched. And I can either have like a mainspring like that, set, magician, or any four-star mainspring. My uh, mainspring, jeez, I'm terrible at this. Wind up. And, um... Summoner Monk really explodes in the deck because right here what I can do is normal summon Summoner Monk, um, pitch a card to get this. This is like pretty much the lesser of the two stupid plays, but to get that. And at this point, I can go into exceed with those two to make wind up Zenmeister. Um, remove the Tengu to target this for being flip face down. Because of the semicolons and their effects, what happens is he first removes the exceed material and then targets. That gives this a chance to proc. And so this becomes chain link too. And so the first thing I do is special summon. I can special summon another magician. And after special summoning the other magician, Tengu special summons Tengu. So at this point I've got three level fours and one exceed. And what I can do, this flips down. What I can do after that is I can, if I have Book of Tame in my hand, if I don't have Book of Tame in my hand, I can, um, well, if I have it in my hand, I can flip that back up. And that effect is go again. In which case, I can exceed again into another wind-up. Zenmeister use his effect again to remove Tengu. Yes, Tengu is stupid silly. And I could special summon a, another level 4. And so, uh, since I have two one-up magicians on the field, I can special summon another one-up. So, actually, you know, let's even let's just skip that four. And with one one-up magician's effect, special summon a uh, one-up soldier. And if, so if I activate both magician's effects first, I might be able to, depending on how the chain link works out, I might be able to jip Tengu out of coming out because my field is too full. And if I have one, two, three, four, five, I can turn them both into level fives and sink for Tyrus. So at this point I've got two Zenmeisters at 23 each and a Tyrus. So Tyrus can swing, blow up a card, and then Zenmeisters can swing directly. And so that's just part of the silly plays in this deck. The silly plays definitely revolve around Magician, Windup Zenmeister, and Tengu. Because, I mean, just you saw that before. Just removing Tengu for the effect gets me another Tengu lock and special summon another monster as this gets flipped down. Um, this deck runs Pot at 2 because it can fill up the Graver fast enough to run Pot. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's not much, um, in the current meta, mind control is extremely potent in this deck. If you have Hyper Librarian or you have one, um, Catastor, or I can just take it and then exceed with it for Adrius or Tyrus, which is kind of punishment because those cards can be pretty freaking powerful. Um, uh, another thing I can do, I mean, the basically... The better field presence this deck has when you pop Summoner Monk or decide to explode, the better. Because, I mean, I don't have to have Summoner Monk in there. It just makes, it's just like the supercharge for the combos. Because, I mean, that combo just had to have Tengu and Summoner Monk on the field. If I already had this thing set, it has 1800 defense, so that's not like, sorry for the blur, it's uh, not too bad. So if I have that set, and I go off, and Summoner Monk gets out shenanigans like, for say, um... Wind up Zenmeister, or wind up, um, get out the Wind up Soldier, Seed for Zenmeister. Do the same thing again, except I'm going to put off Tengu to put down that to special summon another one. Go for Tyrus. Um, if I have Teyu, I can do this crap again and sink for that and just all sorts of silly shenanigans. But that's why Tayo is running there, because it makes the uh, combo, like, much, much longer. But, um... Yeah, so just in case you want to experiment with the deck, um, let me just take a whole lot of troubleshooting out of the deck for you and let you know right now that the main cards you want to have in, no matter what variants you're doing, are the three Wanda Magicians, three Tengu, and Summoner Mode.
that's that's like right now that's to make the deck at least explosive these cards are like the main cards you need the other cards you can you know see like put in how do you see fit I mean if you want to hit the uh, rank fives it's good to have things like wind up dog and whatnot and wind up uh, soldier but um yeah that's that's what you need to be silly and you also need three of these because when you go into exceeds it's like Vajrayana and Dragoon these you're gonna need to go into wind up Zen master to keep exploding and um yeah that is pretty much it um keep an eye out for my next deck profile I'm gonna do like a v2 and it's gonna be my trap lineup one because I'll uh, roll decrees I've always not liked World of Cruise because it just kind of opens up your face to butt rape. Um, also, keep an eye out for my Ojama deck because I made a uh, Herp Derp Gaichi Gaichi Ojama deck and it's it's really funny. I mean, you don't have Effect Veiler and you probably do lose. So, yeah, it's um, that's pretty much it. And thanks for watching. You should remember to rate, well, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, peace.